What's up, HasFit Tribe? It's your personal trainer, Coach Kozak. And I'm Claudia, and this is a body weight hit workout. That's right, and today's routine is no repeat, meaning we're just gonna do the one set of every exercise before moving on. That means 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest. You can follow me for the standard moves. And you can follow me for the lower impact variations. If you're ready to go, let's burn it up. Let's begin with our warm up. Our first move is going to be a hamstring sweep. Start with our left leg out in front and on that left heel, left leg is straight. Now at the same time, I'm gonna have a big arm swing as I bend down, hinging at the hips and stand straight up. Now I'm gonna bring my right leg out in front, hinge at my hips, feel that stretch in the back of my legs. So all of our warm up moves today are targeting multiple muscle groups. That's on purpose, getting a lot of bang for our buck and very efficient moves. This one's hitting our posterior chain, hamstrings, glutes, lower back, shoulders, chest, all at the same time. Get a nice breathing going here. Moving at a warm up pace, trying to elevate that overall body temperature and get our heart rate just slightly elevated. Repeating this one for five, four, three, two, one, zero. For our next one, we're gonna to move to the floor in a quadruped position on all fours with our um, shoulders directly above our hands and wrists. We're gonna start with a wrist rock. So we're going to gently come forward, keeping those hands flat, gentle pressure, come back. Now we're gonna reach through with our right arm, twist, and then twist off and reach up to the ceiling. Right hand back to the floor. And now wrist rock again. This time with our left arm, reach through, rotate, and then twist up to our left side keeping our eyes on that hand and repeat back into the wrist. Good. Alternating between right and left sides. Again, multiple muscle groups, body parts being worked here at the same time. And that twist is great for our thoracic spine mobility. Reaching through with the left and big reach up top. One more on each side. Nice controlled breathing here. Also warming up those wrists today because we are gonna spend a little bit of time on our hands with a few of the moves. Reaching through the left side. And last one, very good. All right, on our feet, gonna get our heart rates up with this next one. Another compound move, bring our arms up to a 90 degree angle. We're gonna do a butt kick plus chest opener. So at the same time, I'm gonna bring my hands together and kick my own butt, alternating right and left sides with the elbows and shoulders at that 90 degree angle. Feel the stretch in your chest and shoulders. And at the same time, taking your quadriceps, that full range of motion there as you bring your heel back to your glute. Nice and controlled breathing. Control that breathing because this workout's gonna. Because it's coming. It's coming. Because it's on the way, folks. <laughs> Calm before the storm, right here. Time it's, to get that mental mindset ready. That's right. This butt kick warm up move is a little foreshadowing. What's to come? Of the butt kicking to come. <laughs> For five, four, three, two, one, and zero. All right. 
All right, speaking of that butt kinking. I'm ready. So as we mentioned in the introduction, today's workout is a no repeat, no repeat workout. And so we're gonna do each exercise just one time. So it's 45 seconds of work and then 15 seconds of rest and right on to the next one. Our first move today is going to be a knee chop. So let's go ahead and get started with our right leg back in a staggered stance. I'm gonna start by reaching up to the ceiling and now I'm gonna bring my right knee up as I crunch down into that knee. And again, we're gonna do this one for 45 seconds in total, but we're gonna split the time on each side. So we'll switch halfway through. Yep. All right, if you're ready, here we go. In three, two, one, show time. So today is gonna to be all about pacing and intensity, pushing yourself here, making sure to breathe, getting the most out of that 45 second time period, 45 seconds of work, and getting the most out of that 15 seconds of rest. I know, and switch sides. So right foot in front now, left knee up. Big intensity, putting it all out there for every move, because when that 45 seconds of work is over, we're moving on. That's right. Keep a soft bend in both knees, big crunch, engage those abs. In three, two, one, and break. All right, so you're resting while I'm demonstrating now. We're gonna do a slam. I'm gonna do my slam with a jump, reaching straight up. I'm going to slam down like I have a ball and I'm gonna jump back up in between. And I'm going to maintain contact with the ground the whole time. If you're ready. And let's go. Begin, weight back in the hips. Every time I'm gonna explode up, reach all the way up, sit down, weight back, don't come forward onto your toes, but instead drive through that midfoot and reach up nice and high, regardless if you're keeping contact with the floor or if you're performing the jump like I am. And exhale on that slam. Big power. Not Burn much it left. out quick. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one, and break. Excellent. All right, start to move down to the floor for a prone swimmer. Pay attention while you rest here for a moment. Arms are out in front. I'm gonna bring my right arm and my left leg up, and then my left arm and my right leg up. So alternating right and left. And three, two, one, and begin. Squeeze your glutes throughout the whole move. So instead of putting the pressure on your lower back, make those glutes take over. That's your backside, your butt, your booty, whatever you want to call it. Remembering to keep our neck in line with our spine. The only thing that should be moving are our legs and our arms here. And thumbs pointed up to the sky. That's right. 45 seconds of work. Come on. Make sure to breathe. Anytime you get down here, it could be tempting to hold your breath, but don't do it. Don't do it. Squeezing those glutes. Almost there. In three, two, one, and break. All right. Go ahead and start to move up to your feet. We are gonna perform a jumping jack next. I'm gonna do the higher impact traditional jumping jack, starting with my hands at my side, jumping up and back returning to middle. And what version are you doing? I'm gonna be doing the one where I maintain contact with the ground the whole time. Just right leg out and back. Left leg out and back. You decide what's best for you. But here we go, in three, two, one, begin. Either way, nice, light, soft ground contacts. Bend in our knees throughout the whole move. Making sure to breathe. Let's go, I love this exercise. Such a classic exercise that gets that heart rate going up. Well, you know, there's a reason why it's been around as long as it has That's been. That's right. Very effective. Nice little total body move here. Yeah, it's Come all on. about intensity today. Let's go. You decide how hard you want to make it. 15 more seconds. But you got to push yourself because nobody else is going to do it for you. It's all you right here. You versus you today. Let's go, tribe. In five, four, three, two, one, break. We're moving to the floor for our next one into a high plank position. We're going to perform a spider mountain climber. 
Same move, but performed differently for both of us. Starting with my right leg up, and I'm gonna switch right and left, jumping. And you notice I'm stepping my right foot up to my right hand, but I'm also stepping back. You decide how dynamic you wanna make this today. Here we go. And three, two, one, Let's begin. go, 45 seconds of work. Keep your core tight, back straight throughout, regardless of which variation you're performing today. Try not to have your butt too high up in the air, and you don't want it sinking either. And if you wanna do some variation of each one, that's fine. Do what you have the ability to do. Do a little combo of mine, a little combo of Coach Kozak's, but don't stop moving. You got 15 seconds left. Come on, fight into the end, folks. Come on. This is the one and only set of these. That's it. Get through it and move on. Get through it and move on. You got five, four, three, two, one, and break. Excellent. Whew. <sighs> Shake it out here. We're moving into a Nordic skier, starting with a staggered stance. I'm gonna place my left arm back, right arm up. Now I'm gonna bring my right arm down as my right knee comes up. And then we're gonna switch halfway through That's right. on this one as well. Ready? Couple big deep breaths and get it. Let's go. So you get that twist, push, pull action going here. Exhale as you bring that knee up. Make sure you're engaging that core. Full range of motion with those arms and your knees. Going to switch here in a little bit. And switch. All right, same move, opposite side now. <laughs> a little bit of a brain exercise That's as right. well. Especially once you get the oxygen Whew. flowing everywhere except to your brain. Let's go, come on. Not much left, about 15 seconds. Come on, what do you got right here? You got it, come on, push, push, push. Digging deep. In five, four, three, two, one and break. All right, moving to the floor for our next one, we're gonna perform a seated sprinter. All shoulders on this one. Good upright posture, legs are out straight, elbows bent at a 90, and we're gonna sprint with just our arms. Notice how I'm keeping my elbows bent at a 90 degree angle the whole time. Big deep breath. And three, two, one, hit it. It's a classic sprinter training exercise. Been around forever. Looks a little crazy. Get big power going here. You should almost feel yourself lifting up off the floor as you're generating power with your upper body. Almost just kissing the floor with your fingertips. Come on. How fast can you go? Come on now. Can you get those glutes up off the ground? Burning those shoulders out. 10 more seconds. To the end, to the end. And five, four, three, two, one, and break. Whew, nice work. And on your feet, moving into a reverse lunge plus either a high front kick or a low kick. I'm gonna start with my hands on my hips, step back with my right leg, both knees to a 90, come up, big high kick, step back, repeat. And notice my variation is the low kick. So kick at a level that feels comfortable for you. That's it, make it your own, but let's make it together in three, two, one, begin. Stepping back and that leg comes up right into the kick so you don't plant it down on the floor before it kicks. Instead, you come right up into that kick. And that's what makes it so challenging. Try and your best. Effective. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, no, and effective. I'm gonna say try your best not to bounce your knee off of that ground there. Yeah, like a slight kiss is fine, but you don't, definitely don't want to bang it into the floor. Coming down until both knees are at that 90 degree angle ideally. Alternating right and left. Working hamstrings, quadriceps, glutes. Even a little core here. 10 more seconds. All together. Come on, finish this one strong. In five, four, three, two, one, and break. To the floor we go. We have a high plank row next. So we're gonna get into that high plank position. I'm gonna be on my feet. And I'm gonna be on my knees. Core is tight. I'm gonna pull back from my right arm and then my left arm. 
keeping my back straight and trying to keep it parallel to the floor. As best as you can. Throughout the move. Yep. Here we go. In three, two, one, begin. Try and keep our shoulders nice and square. And we're breathing throughout. Anytime we get one of these plank positions, we're so tempted to hold our breath. Right. So really focus on your breathing. This is actually the best place to kind of regain some of that breath. So as you bring your arm up, do your best to exhale. Keeping that core tight, the whole move. Don't let it get loose. And we don't want our butt too high up in the air and we don't want it relaxed either. That's right. Pulling back from that elbow on every repetition. Let the elbow lead the way. We've got about 10 seconds left. Oh, come on, almost there. Breathe through the exercise. This one's working your core, shoulders, back, legs, and shoulders. Break. Ah, up on our feet. Here we are. Dynamic move next. We're gonna do either a switch jump squat, which is switch, switch, squat. Or a step back, step back squat you decide which one's right for you catch time, that breath <laughs> time for one big deep breath all right and then it's action time here we Ready? go begin i'm going switch switch squat and again this is a good time of the workout to make it your own if you're not quite to the switch jump then do a step back step back if you feel a little froggy maybe you can do a combination of both but do what works best for you That's and it, your throughout. fitness level and it makes sense to, to choose maybe sometimes my variation maybe sometimes claudia's variation it doesn't have to be all one or all the other that's right we all have different strengths and weaknesses and no two bodies are the same that's right and we don't operate in extremes here so do what works best for you but just keep doing keep moving that's right it's the name of the game not much left about 10 seconds left finishing strong here right to the end and five Four, three, two, one, and break. All right, we got a combat move coming at you next. We're gonna do a side to side punch. Feet are shoulder width apart, hands are at our chin. I'm gonna rotate with my left hand, punch to my right side, bring it back to my chin, right hand to my left side, and back. So punching side to side, getting yep. that core engaged. Let's do it. And begin that core going don't just punch across your body but actually rotate that means that rotation's happening at your core your hips your legs all up and down your kinetic cha kinetic chain breathe hands come back to the chin after every punch so every punch has two parts the punch and the returning back that's right don't hold your breath, especially when we're going side to side here. That's right. Good place to catch your breath. Get it back on track. Not much left. In five, four, three, two, one, break. All right. Next one. Another combination move for you here. Yep. We're both going to do a hot feet, hot feet, hot feet, hot feet. And I want to do an up down where I throw my legs back, high plank. And I'm back up. And I'm gonna do a squat down where I do the hot feet, squat down, step back with both feet and come right back up. So you decide how dynamically you wanna come down. That's right. And three, <laughs> two, one. Hot feet, hot feet, hot feet, hot feet, hot feet, down, up. So we recommend about three seconds of hot feet before you drop on down. That's right. And if you're doing my variation, when you do the squat down and step back, try to alternate your lead leg. So for instance, I just went back with my right. Now I'm going to go back with my left and switch. And Come the on. Squat Hester. down variation takes a little more time. Yeah, for sure. Which is why we're letting you go at your own pace here. Woo. Come on. Push it, push it, push it, push it. Come on now. What do you got, folks? Oh, I feel like I'm in football training camp. What's up with this? Come on now. <laughs> Come on, team. Almost there, almost there. Fight to the end, folks. That's right. Ooh. Come on, 10 more seconds. Show us what you got. Keep that core tight. Hot feet, fast, fast, fast. In three, two, one, break. Ah, excellent. All Ooh. right. 
You made it. Man. You made it out there, Hasbit Tribe. Quads Thank you so fire. much for that hard work today. Now we get a little reward, a little restoration. Yes. A little recovery work as we move into our cool down. Our first move is going to be a wall calf stretch because we beat our calves up pretty good today. Yeah. So make your way on over to a wall, a countertop, a door frame, couch, just something you can kind of put up your, your body weight up against. I'm going to step back with my right leg about as far as I can. And now I'm going to drive my right heel to the floor and lean my body weight forward. So that back leg, you feel that stretch and that pull on that calf muscle. It's a static stretch, so just hold here. Again, driving that heel, that back leg into the floor so you feel that stretch. And relax. Okay, same move, opposite side now. And drive that heel to the floor. Oof. And don't Left be surprised. Side feels tighter. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't be surprised if one side's a little tighter than the other. We definitely say that often, but it's always a good reminder. Big deep breaths here for five, four, three, two, one. All right, next let's focus on another muscle group that got hit pretty well today, which is our shoulders, chest, and back. We're gonna get up against a wall and we're gonna do a wall angel. So up against a wall, all the way, we're gonna bring our arms up overhead, arms flat up against the floor, uh, against, up against the wall, excuse me, and then drag those arms as your elbows come into your side. Trying your best to maintain contact with your head, back, hands, shoulders, and elbows as you go up and down. Another super challenging one. I'm not great at this, but you might be even more challenged at it. And, and we do want to keep our lower back to the wall, correct? Yes, the whole, whole body to the wall. All right, nice and flush. The best that we can. And don't be surprised if this one's going to take some practice. Even when I think I'm getting good at this one, all the tough workout, then all of a sudden I'll be so tight I won't be able to do it. And three, two, one, zero. Oh. Ah. <laughs> I was expecting to see like oh, my, no. body, my body print there on the wall. <laughs> He'll be out the, here later scrubbing the wall. Yeah, I'll, be like, I'll clean that up here in about <laughs> 10 minutes. Right, we're going to move to the floor. I'm going to do a downward dog next. So hinging at our hips, hands on the floor, coming out. And then we're going to bring our hips back as we relax our shoulders. Like somebody's pulling on our hips backwards. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs, calf, hamstring, glutes. Really relax those shoulders. Big deep breaths here as we relax. Focus on bringing that heart rate down, returning it back to our normal rate for five, four, three, two, one. All right, so worked on our calves, our shoulders and upper body, our posterior chain. Now let's loosen up those quadriceps. Going on our left side here, we're gonna do a side lying quad stretch. My left arm is at my side. My right knee is stacked on top of my left. I'm gonna reach back and grab that foot. If you need to, you can grab a towel or a band to help you grab that foot or ankle. Just a static stretch here, so we're just gonna hold. Big, deep breaths. Trying your best to keep that knee in close to your side. You might notice on mine, my right knee has a little more mobility so I can do this better with my right side. It won't be quite as pretty with the left. Doing the best that you can. None of us are perfect. That's right. For five, four, three, two, one, zero. All right, same move. We're just gonna hit up the opposite leg now. On our right side, stacking my left leg on top of my right. I'm gonna reach back, trying my best to bring that right knee down. If it's too high, you won't, and it's flaring up, you won't get that stretch. Taking a moment here to be proud of what you achieved today. For working out, we're easy. Everybody be fit, everybody be in great shape. But you know just as well as I do, that's not the case. You showed up today, you put in the work. 
starting if, if you're just starting off that's a great place to start your habit if not if you've been at it for a while kudos to you for keeping that habit going that's right another day in check it off the list that's right nothing is harder than consistency that's it getting started is the easy part consistency over years days weeks months years that's the hard part it is and three two one zero all righty you did it oh i reached that age where when i get up off the floor i gotta get one of these uh, one of those noises anybody else do that or yes is me it, is it just can we edit those out is, is it, that possible is it let's just do that. That. <laughs> speaking of staying consistent you know one of the best ways to stay consistent over time is with a program you also get faster results that's right and you can find our programs on our app which can be downloaded to your android device or your apple device and it can also be found on our website at hasfit.com another way to support us is by stopping by our store picking up a t-shirt i promise we won't send you this sweaty one <laughs> or our diet guide eating for life don't forget to like us on your favorite social media channel until next time i'm coach kozak and i'm claudia and we will see you at your next workout